Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Chappelle. Thank you. Oh boy, I'm very nervous. Uh, no pressure. Uh, during the Civil Rights Movement, uh, the, I can't, I can't read what's on the teleprompter. <laughs> Some about black America and white America. There's black Americans and there's white Americans. We're all one America. So, so if you don't mind, this is a, this is not live, is it? I imagine whatever I say, you could just you could just edit it out. Let's try it a few ways. Lou, are you in the booth? I am. All right, good. Uh, you know what, Lou? Let's just play around with it and see if we can get it right. Get this clip package on, and then, and then let me go home. All right? Yeah. All right. Ready? All right. Count me in. Five, four, three, two, one. Wu Tang. I'm just with you, Lou. Let's do it again. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. We'll get it right. Here we go, Dave. Five, four, three, two. You know, when I was a comedian starting out in Washington, D.C., right here in this city, 1988, I'll never forget this, it was a comedy club owner that banned profanity from his comedy club. He said it offended his audience, and this was a, a cause of major concern for all the comedians in the circuit. And we all called a meeting, and we had the owners come, and it was the club owners, and it was the comedians. It was the classic labor dispute. <laughs> the club owners laid out their case. There cannot be profanity in these clubs, because that offends people. And there's a comedian who's still a good friend of mine to this day. He lives right here in Washington, D.C. He stood up. And he said, he's black, I should tell you, because it's important to the story. <laughs> he says, I use profanity because I live a profane lifestyle. <laughs> he says, I don't have an insect infestation in my house. I have roaches. <laughs> my favorite comedians are like musicians. And the audience is their instrument. And the music they make is your laughter. And that's the laughter that I scored my entire life to. So now, some of my favorite American comedic composers. Thank you. When I lose my job, I lose my man. Treat me like a dog. He called me a dog. Yes, he did. What did he call me? An old dog. Sometimes I wish I was a dog and he was a tree. <laughs> when you stop and think, football's a fair sport for my people. Only sport in the world, a Negro can chase a white man and 40,000 people stand up and cheer him. <laughs> See, in my neighborhood, the kids have a kind of a dubious reaction to that whole Santa Claus concept. They just don't believe that a white man will ride a reindeer through Harlem after midnight. <laughs> In truth, white friend, it's you that all look alike. <laughs> but look at the black people around you. We're all different colors. Black walnut, burnt elk, almond, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate mocha, pecan, vanilla, yellow, mellow, light, bright, and damn near white. We come from the first people on the earth. <laughs> you know, the first people on the earth were black people. We the first people had thought. Right? We was the first one to say, where the am I? <laughs> and how do you get to Detroit? I think maybe like 30 years ago, there was a woman that wanted to sing, and a black lady that sang opera, that wanted to sing, what was her name? <laughs> Mary Anderson. And this place was, was like segregated, and they couldn't sing here. And here we are like not even 50 years later, a 22-year-old black man on stage getting paid to hold his God bless America. I gotta go now. Y'all take it easy. Bye-bye. Janelle Monet, Will Smith, Common, Gladys Knight, and John Legend when we continue.